Oh, because obviously coming off the back of last week, it's not the result we wanted. A tough opening 15 minutes, would you say? Yeah, just really disappointed with how we've gone about it, to be fair. Um, two poor goals to concede. Goals we haven't conceded this year, really. Um, you come to Brackley, who haven't lost at home. You've got to set up to be in the game as long as possible and we let the game pretty much go. Oh, well, give ourselves a mountain to climb. The pitch conditions, obviously we're not saying it's an excuse, but you've got to, you've got to play them. You know, they played it better than us and they played it all season that way. And for some strange reason, we decided to uh, play the, a different plan to what we'd worked on all week because um, we banged on about how we, we can get behind this team and create chances. And when we finally did that after the first 15 minutes, obviously 2-0 down, we started creating chances. Couldn't quite get on the end of anything. And, you know, one of made a terrific block to stop Nick's shot, which, you know, we needed that goal earlier than what it came because uh, at the end you're always chasing, you're huffing and puffing and you know we've done well to get one back but just ran out of time and you know it was really disappointing but we've just got to pick ourselves up because when we've won, obviously Harrogate was big last week, I've just said knuckle down again, next game, next game so focus again now is going to be get disappointment out of the way, a bit of a you know, look back on ourselves on the coach journey on the way home but we've got to start games better and we've got to play the league. You know you can't just turn up and expect to start passing teams off the pitch and you know, that shot us in the foot massively. Did you feel the momentum with us, and particularly in the second half? You know, crowds very loud down here. Uh, did you feel nah, the crowd was fantastic. Flipping heck. You know, you come away and there's, it's a long journey and they see the numbers behind the goal, willing you are. I mean, Gaffers have spoke about all season. There's no question of desiring the lads. Um, it's just sometimes, you know, we're, we're flashing things across goal. We're a team that has so much pressure that pins teams back and we just can't get the ball over the line on occasions and it's it's frustrating because they've had what obviously the second half and pushing for the game they've, they've broken and created themselves a couple of chances to kill the game but you know they've they've got in two areas in the first half and scored two goals from it and it, like you say the job done for them because they don't have to come out anymore they don't have to play expansive they can be sitting in a tight shape and sort of frustrate us and you know they've done that so you know fair play to them and they've been strong at home and it was another strong side on the back of playing Arrogate. And just finally that brings the unbeaten run to an end in 2018 but how can we react uh, sort of February against Bradford next Saturday? Well it's big because um, they don't play both teams Brackley Harrogate don't play chance to put some more points on the board every game's a chance to put points on the board and um, although it's a defeat, you've got to bounce back and fair play to the lads, apart from the sticky spell over Christmas, the losses that we've suffered at Darlow, at Leamington, at uh, Chorley. Well, ch take Chorley out of that, but Darlington and Lemon, Leamington, you know, we bounced back positively and we have a big game and there's, you know, Bradford are fancying themselves for the playoffs. No game's easy in this league at all, it's that cliche, but we're back at home and we've just got to do the business again and, you know, sort of put this back at the back of the minds and bring back the confidence of you know, getting out of the dip that we had as quickly as we did and 14 points, uh, sorry, four, 14 games to play, loads of points to play for. Um, we've got to stay up there, we've just got to keep pushing ourselves, keep driving forward.